Bonjour. It's nice seeing you here and welcome to the French Tech Pitch at Computex Virtual. My name is Wayne Wong and I am the Senior Trade Advisor of Tech and Industry Sectors at Business France Taipei Office, the French Trade Office in Taiwan. Business France has been organizing the French Tech Pavilion at Computex Taipei since 2016, the year in which Innovex, the zone dedicated to startups and innovations within Computex Taipei, was created. In 2021, even though there is no physical show taking place, the French Tech Pavilion is still present on the digital platform of Computex Virtual. This year, we are very happy to have five amazing French companies exhibiting at the French Tech Pavilion. Some of these companies have already gained international recognition by winning prestigious prizes such as CES Innovation Awards, while some others have already had opportunities to collaborate with world-renowned enterprises and institutes. This French Tech Pitch Session aims to give you a little taste of the innovative products and solutions these five companies offer. So, without further ado, let's kick off this pitch session with the startup Pascal. Pascal specializes in quantum processing units designed around arrays of neutral atoms. Their product and solution is completely in line with the ever-increasing demand of high-performance computing nowadays, always asking for more and faster computing capacity. We're happy to have the co-founder of Pascal presenting us the company as well as its activities. We will also have a researcher walking us through the lab of Pascal and a scientific advisor explaining to us what are the quantum advantages. Hello, welcome at the Institut d'Optique Graduate School in Palaiso, south of Paris. Our company, Pascal, is a spin-off of this research institute. Here, we are designing and building the processors of the future. They will be less energy intensive, safer for your data, and finally, more powerful. Today, scientific computing is used for all kinds of applications. For instance, the discovery of a new drug is sped up with suitable computing. Have you ever complained about traffic jams or flight delays? Well, traffic management also relies on such computing. These problems have all in common that they cannot be tackled with today's technology without compromising either on speed or accuracy. Quantum computing is changing that paradigm. At Pascal, we built on a new technology developed here to design the most powerful quantum computer ever. Follow me. That's the lab. This is where it all begins. And Thierry is going to give you some more details. So welcome to my lab. This is the machine I, I work on. And this is the, the emerging technology that uh, will be used for building the quantum computer of Pascal. So this is a machine where we catch single atoms in uh, optical micro traps that we call optical tweezers. So each atom supports one bit of information. This is called a quantum bit. And by using multiple traps, we can have several hundreds of qubits. And to make those atoms interact, we also use light to excite them to uh, Rydberg states. And this is how uh, we can build a 100 qubit uh, quantum computer. Wow, awesome, isn't it? Thank you, Thierry. Come and see Professor Alain Spey, who will tell you more about quantum. Almost 40 years ago, I performed experiments showing that entanglement is a reality in spite of Einstein's doubts. It belonged to the conceptual step of the second quantum revolution. In the recent years, I have been delighted to learn of ideas to use entanglement for solving some problems exponentially faster than with classical computers. This is the so-called quantum advantage. So, when young scientists educated in my environment, asked me to be involved in a startup aiming at controlling entanglement with unprecedented versatility, how could I refuse? There is a chance that the intermediate scale quantum processors of Pascal break the wall of classical computing. With Pascal, I am glad to be in the game of the technological stage of the second quantum revolution. 
as I was a player in the conceptual stage. After knowing more about the powerful and innovative solution Pascal provides, let's jump to the consumer side for a little while. Daan Technologies is a French home appliances manufacturer founded nearly five years ago. They created their first product, Bob. In an efficient way, Bob can help with a household chore that most people don't like and at the same time, reduce water consumption. Since its commercial launch in October 2020, already more than 20,000 bobs have been sold. Want to know more about Bob? Take a look at this video. Now you know that Bob is actually a compact but advanced dishwashing machine for small households. With an integrated water tank, water filling can directly be done from the front side of the machine. Dyn Technologies is looking for distribution channel partners in Asia to further accelerate the arrival of Bob in Asian markets. Next up, we have Dracula Technologies a deep tech company that has nothing to do with blood, but has something to do with ambient light. In fact, Dracula Technologies expertise lies in digital printed organic photovoltaic modules. Named Layer, light as your energetic response, their modules are able to generate energy from artificial or natural ambient light for low energy consumption IoT devices. Let's let Dracula Technologies further explain. Hi, we are Dracula Technologies and we've developed an organic photovoltaic technology called Layer. Our technology is using ambient light to power IoT sensors and wireless products. Billions of IoT devices are expected to be installed over the coming years, with almost half of them connected inside buildings. Currently, the use of batteries to power these devices places significant constraints on their development. Energy harvesting has the potential to solve these issues, providing greater reliability and operational lifetimes in wireless sensors networks. At Dracula Technologies, we rely on organic photovoltaics. We create a layer, a printed technology which generates energy from ambient light. The high efficiency in low-light conditions makes our PV modules great candidates for indoor applications. OPV is a promising technology with properties such as reduced weight, flexibility, design opportunities and a low environmental impact. Our technology is based on a unique manufacturing technique using digital printing. Inject printing makes it possible to produce shapes or specific design and print layer on flexible supports which are able to follow curves. To formulate our photoactive inks, only organic materials are used. Layer does not require rare earth elements. Dracula Technologies was created in 2011 and the technology development required 7 years of R&D. During that time, we successfully raised funds, patented our innovation 5 times and won the well-known international deep-depth startup contest Hello Tomorrow. 
we implemented our pilot line and carry out various PLC to demonstrate the interest of our technology. With Layer Lab, our ambition is to tackle the customer problematics linked to the power supply. In the same time, with Layer Factory, we are deploying our technology boldly by industrializing it. Two leading industrialists have recently joined us in our adventure to make Layer the reference in indoor energy harvesting. We want to secure energy supply and reduce maintenance cost and ecological impacts. We are working with sensor and smart home applications. We are also bringing energy to revolutionize power cards and to increase the transmission range of an RFID tag to simplify tracking. We can rely on our dynamic and passionate team. For years, our development engineers and PhDs have worked with ambition in order to revolutionize the energy supply. And it's just the beginning. To recap, Dracula Technologies Layer Module allows energy harvesting from scarce energy sources and lowers maintenance costs and ecological impact. Sounds like great product characteristics. In fact, Dracula Technologies became an honoree of CS Innovation Awards 2021. Our next exhibitor might be familiar to those who have followed Computex Innovex throughout the years. We have Energy Square, specializing in a revolutionary conductive wireless charging technology. With their technology, we can charge multiple devices simultaneously and at optimal speed. Here's the video from Energy Square. Hi everyone, I'm Timothy. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Energy Square. We are a young French company based in Paris and we are developing a new technology for wireless charging um, to charge wirelessly any electronic device and get rid of all the cables we are using daily to, to charge our devices. And so the technology we developed is called Power by Contact. Um, it's a contact-based charging technology that will let you charge all your devices simultaneously on a very thin pad and at the same exact speed as with a classic charger. It also has the same charging efficiency as a classic charger and it's very cost effective to embed our technology into um, electronic devices. And so we don't manufacture devices at Energy Square. Our goal is really to provide a new standard for charging. And so we provide our technology as a license to device manufacturers so that they can embed our technology directly into their devices. And so we have uh, always a first phase of technology transfer in which we transfer our technology to um, OEMs and ODMs, and then a phase of um, mass production where we let them uh, exploit our uh, patent portfolio to embed our technology into their devices. And our first um, and our main client today is Lenovo uh, that has announced at CS 2021 that they will embed our technology power by contact into two of their laptops that will be launched uh, this year in 2021. Having already established an office in Taiwan, Energy Square aims to collaborate with more OEM and ODM companies in order to integrate their technology into more electronic devices. We wish them all the success. Finally, we have Upman from the French city of Grenoble, where its semiconductor and microelectronics industries are well known. UpMem is a fabulous semiconductor company proposing a general purpose accelerator based on processing in memory, PIM, technology. Thanks to this, big data, genomics, and other artificial intelligence applications can run faster but in a less energy consuming manner. We are happy to have their CEO, CTO, and their head of business development to introduce us the power of their PIM technology. Hello, I'm Gilles Amou, CEO and co-founder of Upman. 
At TopMem, we have developed Processing in Memory, or PIM, a revolutionary technology. PIM provides a unique solution to a key challenge still to be resolved by the semiconductor industry, bottlenecks between the processor and its main memory in the computing nodes of data center and edge. A key challenge to scale big data and AI data and GUI application further. Hello, I'm Fabrice Devaux, CTO and co-founder of Atom. The performance discrepancy between processors and memories dramatically limits the effective processor performance. Additionally, the energy cost of moving data between processors and memories become problematic. The open technological breakthrough is conceiving a processor directly integrable inside the memory chips, avoiding upfront most of the data movement between processors and memories. The resulting upfront processing in memory chips, compatible with current and future servers, propose a far more flexible programming model than classical accelerators. Using upfront chips, data and applications like genomics, analytics, or AI are accelerated up to 20 times, while being up to 10 times more power efficient and cost effective. AppMem's award-winning team has experience of scaling companies to over 100 million euro revenues to facilitate rapid scaling within this 10 billion euro market. AppMem has partnered with PowerChip, a leading semiconductor Taiwanese memory manufacturer. Hello, I'm Remy Simonomo, heading business development at AppMem. PIM provides a unique value proposition. It overcomes one of the key obstacles of today's computers' need for performance and efficiency. At OpMem, we have already proven that the market is willing to pay for PIM technology with the sale of a number of prototypes. We account world's leader as customers in targeted verticals such as genomics, database, and analytics. The company is also strong of over 20 partnerships in software and hardware. The company also doesn't have a direct competitor as of today. This is why we believe, strong of an excellent technical team, that we are in a great position to achieve our objective of $300 million by 2026. And those are the five exhibitors at the French Tech Pavilion at Computers Virtual this year. Thank you for sticking around until the end of this pitch session and we hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to visit the French Tech Pavilion on Computex Virtual from May 31st to June 30th, 2021, in order to really get to know more about the innovative products and solutions our French companies propose. You're also more than welcome to set up B2B meetings on the platform with the companies that you wish to further discuss with. We hope to see you again at the Tech Pavilion next year at Computex 2022. In the meantime, take care and au revoir.